Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in my Speed Race to Grandmaster series. Looks like we're going to be playing as Pink today in fourth position. Okay, so taking a look at this board. Uh, if I was in first, I'd probably take this uh, 854. Hmm. Let's see, 956 is very appealing in terms of production. Um, 8105 down here is looking nice as well. Hmm. If we wanted like a backup or wheat sheep, we could take uh five four eleven and build towards eleven nine ten. Hmm. So let's see here. Best wood spot down here. Uh I could see maybe this falling to us, but I highly doubt it. And then we'd probably take uh Maybe just this uh, this spot up here, five four eleven. Hopefully, this five four eleven will still be open. Okay. So yeah, I can see someone taking nine five six, like we mentioned, due to production. Ten eight five might go next. Actually, um, eight three four would be an okay spot. Hmm. Let's just see what's left over for us. Okay, so purple. Yeah, one of these two is definitely going next, and then both of them will probably be gone by turn by the time our turn comes around. So maybe we'll have to plan on taking eight, three, four, <clears throat> taking three, four, and then we would still need brick, brick and ore, which there's no spot that has brick and ore, so that's going to be a little bit difficult. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Looking at ports. Hmm. I feel like someone might take 8-3 at some point and get the 3 for 1 if no one takes 8-3-4. Okay, you're building up. Okay, yep. As we figured, this spot sort of would be taken. Hmm. Now we could... <clears throat> look at the spot. Have every resource and then take 3-8-4 built towards... Um, the three for one spots. Let's see. Which would make more sense? If we took this, we would play without brick if we took this spot as well. <clears throat> we do take, we could also take this spot here. Eh. I'm kind of liking this spot and then maybe pairing it with. Uh, nine six deuce. Again, just playing hardcore or or wheat sheep, and then we would have access to. Well, three four one wouldn't really be helpful to us then. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the more I look at it, the more I. I'm just gonna play or wheat sheep here. Okay, taking this and then taking this as well so we have a variety of numbers and uh get to buy a dev card starting out <clears throat> i figured why not why not just do it this way uh you know great sheep production decent wheat production and or you know it could be better i could have tried taking this uh 6 11, 3 as well but overall i'm happy with my placement we got a wide variety of numbers and uh, still having 695, which are ideal numbers. So, yeah, feeling good about it. We just don't have an 8 because I'm sure someone's either going to take 834 um, or take the 3 for 1. Most likely just 834. Okay, so red is taking 384, pairing it. They do not have any wheat intake, so they're, they're banking on taking this uh, 31110. <clears throat> Let's see. Purple, you need wheat. Okay, so that negates what red was going to do. So red's going to be playing this game without wheat, which is going to be difficult because, you know, they have a lot of ore intake, but no way to really get rid of the ore at this point. This is why I uh, prioritize wheat when I'm looking for um, my initial settlements, just because I, I know some people also say you should really prioritize ore as well, which, you know, I, I do when I can. But wheat to me is more important than ore since you know you need wheat for to do anything. You need it for settlements, you need it for dev cards, um, you need it for cities. <clears throat> okay, taking that, so good we didn't build up. 
Wow. Okay, so Gray has a very powerful sub going. We got to build up. Go get the three for one. Okay, Deuce. We get an ore for Deuce. Uh, if we do get a chance to city up early, we're probably going to city up uh, 5 for 11 first. Okay, seven roll by purple. What would purple need at this spot? I think that was this their second placement? Purple? Let's see. Purple. No. The. Oh. Whoops. This was their second settlement. Okay. Who are they going to steal from? If you do steal from us, please take an ore. Oh, he stole our wheat. Dang. All right. We're going to target purple if we do hit a seven on our turn. A uh, nine. Okay, so we get the wheat back. So that's not end of the world for us here. Uh, we might just save. Uh, save and try. Well, our five is blocked. So at this point, we should buy dev card hoping for a knight just to move it off next turn. Okay, we do get that knight. If I wasn't blocked here, most likely I would have just saved so we could get a city and ramp up our production. But since it is currently blocked, I feel like it made a lot of sense to get the knight first. Well, I assumed it would be a knight whenever I bought buy dev cards, but a uh, nine. Okay, getting a wheat for nine. At this point, we could probably target um target purple or red. Okay, eight and nothing for eight. Yeah, I'll we'll probably target purple here. Let's see. Because purple star wheat, so they we know they have a wheat. They started with ore, so they have an ore. So either one of those I could take from them. Uh, Red's trying to trade for wheat. <clears throat> so I just got off of work and I decided to go downstairs, you know, refill my water bottle and everything before I start recording. And I, uh, I snacked on some leftovers. And every Saturday we either make breakfast here or, you know, go to a diner for breakfast because breakfast is great. And uh, they had this uh, breakfast bowl type of thing at the diner, and I just had leftovers of it, and it was it was delicious. I should have moved the night before I rolled. That was a blunder. Um, let's do this and hit. Ah, hmm. At this point, let's save since our five is no longer blocked, and we have chances to get some ore. Uh, nine, we get some more wheat for nine. Yeah, I think about food makes me uh go through some mistakes okay because every year i go through a season a season of trying to eat healthier and it happens to land on like the fall winter months i just feel like you know can't really go outside can't really do much so I might as well eat better and uh exercise a little bit to try losing some weight my weight yo-yos i fluctuate anywhere between like um one uh, 50, 160 to like 180. Okay, you're going up to there for a three for one. Huh. Okay, five. We got some ore for five. So all we need next within the next two rolls is either a five or a deuce. Get our first city, first city on the board. Okay, so purple is starting to purchase dev cards. Purple in terms of your production, we we probably block your. Well, we can't block your eleven because I'll be blocking this as well. Okay. So now we have enough for a city, eight, we get nothing for eight, and we're going to drop the first city on the board here. So now the five is probably going to be a huge target by, who's not on here, purple, seven, okay, you probably won't block this, you'll probably block the 11 at this point, also negatively impacting purple, or you could also block the four. Oh wait, you wouldn't do four or five. I assume you'd want to target the city. That's the only reason I'm uh, mentioning these spots. So you, as gray, probably the 11, but uh, red also has three victory points. So maybe you want to target them, them in purple. They're trying to figure it out. Hitting nine. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that happens. Okay, so next uh, expansion spot for us will probably go to hmm, 11, 9, 10. We could try to go down here, get some, uh, some brick intake. <clears throat> right now, we don't really have a way to get wood. Uh, that would be hard to get a settlement there. Wood or brick. Six, we get sheep for six. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like. 
uh, red or purple will beat us on the race there, but you know what? Why not make an attempt for it? I figure out a way we could acquire some, some brick. <clears throat> Four wood for a brick done by purple. So they need a brick to, let's see, what would make the most sense for them? We need to get some wheat intake. So maybe they are trying to go for this 10-9. Uh, That's probably something that they're going to try to do. Okay, so purple just received a brick from that roll. So we might target them. They have uh, some brick. So if we get seven here, six. Okay, we get nothing for six. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to end my turn there. Not much we could do. Can you even buy a dev card or anything? And uh, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, at this point, I've noticed uh, on YouTube, like, you know, the views are down just overall on, like, uh, multiple channels. So it's just probably, you know, one of those months where people aren't watching as much YouTube. So it'd be greatly appreciated if you could smash that like button. Helps the channel out. Let's see here. Four. Okay, double sheet for four. So we could do a four for one trade. At this point, we might be wasting, depending on what purple does here. Because they're in a better position to uh, build a road and then a settlement faster than us. And I don't know if I really want to waste resources to try going for 11, 9, 10. Because it wouldn't be that beneficial to us. No, we're not going to give you wood. They probably uh, have enough resources to build one road, but they don't have enough for two. Or, well, a road and a settlement. So they want to indicate that they're going, oh, they might now. They might have what they need. And then they're actually going to have some... Uh, wheat intake. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now we're going to prioritize going out here for. Do we do a three for one? If we do a three for one. Um, we could utilize our extra sheep intake later for something else. So that's something we might do. Uh, nine. We would have gotten wheat for nine. But yeah, I think it's important for us to have a three for one since we don't have a uh, wood or brick. <clears throat> and we don't have access to the sheep port, wheat port, or the ore port. Hmm. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. I know I don't want, really want to double up on a deuce, but it is what it is. So red is likely going to take longest road. The only one who I see as a contender for longest could be purple, but not not likely. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. And. They put themselves in a position to get blocked. I'm not sure why they did that. A uh, four. Okay, getting some more sheep for four. In this spot, we can still only do one four for one trade. And, well, let's see. Does anyone want sheep? I know there's brick out there. Okay, nope. So I won't be able to offer anything of value to them, so why not just do this? Go for the 3 for one and our turn there. Yeah, because once we roll, get a city here, we're going to be rolling in sheep. So just uh, prepping ahead right now. 8, you get nothing for 8. Wood, wheat, wood. Okay. Uh, three sheep for an ore. Okay, wow. They're able to drop the second city on the board in a very strong position. Knight is rolled, likely attacking the five. Okay. Who are you going to steal from at this point? Why are you, are you stealing from us? Red and gray, like, have more victory points than me. Uh, nine, we get wheat for nine. Hmm. Are they trying to beat us to the race for army, perhaps? This is, yeah, that's not good. We need some, uh, yeah, fives can't even be rolled at this point to help us out, so. Yikes. All right. I have to see what we could do to pivot some of our maneuvering here. At four, we get two more sheep for four. Okay, what can we do with this? We need that to be moved. Nine and five to be rolled, but we have one roll coming up here. Okay, five. wow, red is really running away with it here. Five, ugh, missed out on some ore. Purple taken in sheep. Can't do much here in this spot. Might as well stash our sheep away for another uh, four for one opportunity. 
Okay. Hmm. I had to figure out a way I could get brick or, um, brick or wood. 11, we get double wheat for 11. Okay, we need this to be moved and a 5 to be rolled. That's what needs to happen. However, for it to happen, uh, 7 would need to come across. 6. Okay, getting another sheep for 6. Hmm. Maybe we could trade the wheat for something. Let's see here. 5. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, what do people want for wood? Wood is pretty scarce right now, so I don't know if anyone wants to. Alright. Hmm. Is Gray actually debating or inputting anything, or are they just... Yeah, alright. How about two for one? Give me two resources. Give me a brick. Okay, Red is willing to do it, which is unfortunate because they're in the lead, but this will help us get our next settlement. Mm. Do I really want to help them out like this? Alright, well, yeah, let's do it. Do a 4 for 1 there. Get our next settlement. Okay. Now we're able to do 3 for 1 trades. So, yeah, we lost out a little bit on that, obviously, since we had to do uh, the 2 for 1 trade, but help this out, ultimately. And even if we could land second place here, that'd be alright by me. Because we still progress up on the EO leaderboards, and ultimately we're just trying to get to GM. This is game number 10, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And I'm sure once Red starts ro running away with it, everyone's going to start attacking, targeting them as well. So that'll draw some attention off of us while we could uh, sneakily get more victory points as Red is going to become the target for everyone. Okay, nine. We get some wheat for nine. So we just need a deuce or a five. Deuce five. Uh, no. What are you trying to accomplish next? You can't go up there. Uh, hey, you have no reason to move down there. Wait, what were they trying to get? They are trying to... Were they trying to get ore? Uh, if so, then that makes sense for cities, but... Was it... They would give brick for ore? Is that why I remember? Hmm. Okay, they purchased a dev card. Okay, five, yes. Okay, so we get some ore there, and we're able to convert our next city. There we go, go up to five victory points. And we got to start focusing up on buying devs here. Uh, buying devs now and uh, dropping another settlement up here uh, just to increase production on the six for some uh, three for one trades. Oh, you're hitting the nine, and um, are you stealing from us? Oh, you're stealing from purple. Nice. Why is no one targeting red? Like, they have six victory points. I'm a little... I mean, I... I guess I kind of get it. If you're trying to get some wheat, that could be a reason. Okay, three ore for grain. Yeah, that's what they're going for, and they purchased a dev card. I'm surprised Gray doesn't have wheat. I mean, they're on an eight, getting three wheat every eight roll. Okay. On to purple here. They roll an eight, and we get nothing for eight. So we know that Gray is currently just sitting on three wheat. That's all their cards. So if we do want to target them for their wheat, then we'll do that. Purple and red have lumber right now, but they have a lot of cards. Um. So, okay, purple buy another dev card. They're, they might beat me to army at this point. Seven by red. Okay, so we just trade with you, so hopefully you'll be nice. But maybe not, since I'm in second place. Ooh, okay, so you wanted that wheat. Wanted that wheat from gray. Makes sense. So if I were to try to hurt red, uh, I would have to hit the six, probably, since they're on the ore port. I uh, don't have a way to get wheat currently, so that's where they're going to be slowing down, ultimately. So, makes sense why they decide to attack Gray right there. Mm -hmm. What is their next move? Path to victory, okay. Are you going to go for... Ooh, they're going to go for the wood port. Which is good for them because they have 3-8 on wood. 
uh, four. We're gonna get some sheep for four. Could do a three for one trade, but that wouldn't get us anywhere. So at this point, we're just gonna end our turn here, move along. <clears throat> Need some nines and fives. Uh, knight drop by gray. Okay, finally, people are attacking red. All right, this makes sense. But he only did that because he was a little salty from being attacked by red uh, earlier. So. Gray continues to collect wheat. Three grain for ore to buy a dev card. All right. Mm, yeah, we, we need to buy dev cards. Ooh, deuce. We get three ore for deuce. Um, another city wouldn't be beneficial to us, so maybe we'll convert that ore to wheat to get devs. Eight again. Oh my goodness, so much wheat by Gray. Uh Night card drop by red, hitting gray once again, stealing more wheat from them, I'd assume. We need a 9 or an 11. That would be, that'd be fantastic for multiple dev card pulls here. All right. Let's go. 11 or 9. 10. Okay. Well, at this point, we can still buy one dev card. Let's do this. Okay. Knight. All right. We'll drop that next turn. Everyone has one knight played. Oh, gray, stepping up to two. All right, we just have to keep buying dev cards now, and then maybe we'll surpass them at some point. Seven. Seven by gray. Hitting, ooh, hitting that. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Let's see. We we'll have to keep in mind what they have, so it's become just the, the dev card buying race. That's what we're doing here. Okay, so gray still has two dev cards, purple has two dev cards. Did they drop a knight, or did, what did they do last turn? Last turn they, they reduce, it did nothing. So do they have another knight in there, or is this mono, or um, here plenty, something like that? Or a secret victory point. Hmm. Three brick for an ore, and you bought another dev card, all right. Okay, knight is dropped by purple. Hitting that five. Oh my goodness. What are you stealing from? Stealing from red. Okay. A seven. <laughs> All right. Where are you going with this one? Let's see. Oh, and you had to ditch half your cards. So if you didn't drop the knight, you wouldn't have had to ditch half your cards. But it was on their six. So eh, even so, I probably would have risked it and just rolled and not used the knight until after. But. I don't know, sometimes I make silly mistakes too. A 10, ooh, hitting red once again, all right. Hmm, if we hit uh, gray here, they could continuously attack us moving forward, so I don't know if I want to solo attack gray or not, but it'll depend on what cards we have. Right now, um, ooh, a knight is dropped, okay. Hit, what? Seven, oh my goodness. All right. I feel like we have to attack red after that. Uh, okay, they hit. That's so frustrating. Um, it's on us. We should definitely move it. What would hurt them the most right now? Like we said, the ore. I kind of want to hurt gray as well. So let's let's do this. Deal from you. Okay, get a brick. A 12, okay. Nobody gets anything for 12 until they, you know, get that spot there. All right, moving along. <clears throat> All right, so it's possible gray, or, well, yeah, red can't take army this turn, but gray, they have three secret victory points, two knights showing. Bring them up to six. And, yeah, they're a little scary with their current setup. Ooh, a six, okay. We get double cheap for six. Could do a three for one trade, get up here for the road. <clears throat> Unless I have an opportunity to buy dev cards, in which case dev cards over roads, but just uh, looking for reasons to burn that brick while we have it. Night card, okay, so they take army. Hmm, being the nine, stealing a sheep from us, okay. All right. And now I won't feel guilty about <clears throat> hitting this eight. 
Uh, such an unfortunate spot. Okay, nice. Purple. All right, move it off of us. Go for the eight. Hit them back. Ooh, hit both of them. All right, I like it, purple. Good move. A 10. Okay, we get nothing for 10. Will gets double brick. Doesn't help anyone. All right, uh, 12 once again. Nothing for 12. Sheep for wood. Anyone? <laughs> Why not? Why not attempt to make some sort of trade happen? Uh, yeah, ooh, okay. Nice. Let's do that. Build that road. At least I was able to accomplish something that turn. Okay, four. We get double sheep for four. Okay, come on. Nine and five. Nine and five next. That would be perfect. <clears throat> Nine five or nine deuce or eleven, it doesn't matter. I just need wheat and ore. Whatever way we, however we get there, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, you're plenty by gray. What are you taking in here? Let's see. Two ore, so you're trying to get a city. Uh, this six for six for three, I assume. Yep, seven victory points. My goodness. Yeah, we need to buy devs and take army away from them ASAP. All right, nine, nine, five, deuce or eleven, uh, seven. Okay, uh, steal from gray. We had to steal from gray. We had to stop their wheat production. This is the spot to hit right now. You, <laughs> you steal from red. Oh man. All right. All right. Yeah, we know who we're, we're targeting if we get a chance. At this point, I'm hoping for, I guess, a deuce. Deuce 9, 11. Uh, 8, nothing for 8. And oh, look at all that wheat. All that wheat that gray is holding. You're probably going to have to pay up big if you want to trade them for wheat. At the same time, do you want to do that? Do you want to help gray that much? So what is gray's path to victory? So let's see here. They have a way to get a settlement out here, I suppose. That'll bring them up to eight, and then uh, city both of them up. Uh, you could also buy dev cards for victory points, so that's their path to victory. We need to steal army away from them with two knights dropped at this point. I'm not sure if that's a knight sitting in their back pocket or if that's a victory point. Hmm. Yeah, red is at seven roads, so no chance of us stealing road from them with our current setup. Okay, and you're still going. All right, going for the sheep port here, I would assume. Uh, five, we get nothing for five. This is blocked. <laughs> okay, this is fine. I, I still believe. I still believe. Eight, I believe that gray will keep... Hoarding all of the wheat, that's what I believe. You're for green, bought another dev card. My goodness, it's gonna be so hard to take army away from them. <clears throat> okay, six, get double sheep for six. Oh my goodness, they're getting sheep as well. <laughs> oh, a slap in the face. Purple to red, building a settlement there. Wow. Yeah, I really don't see why Red didn't prioritize building a settlement there, but that's that's all right. They can still build one road here and get settlement on the sheep port, so it's not all lost. And Purple could take road away from Red at this point. Uh, ten, nothing for ten. Yep, they're still building out to get there. All right, two or for a green. Yeah, trying to get that settlement. Uh, six here. Okay, so we get some sheep for six. Next is two, 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 four, one trades. Okay, nice. There we go. Let's do this by a dev. And what do we get? Okay, a knight. Let's see, let's see. I hope they roll seven. I have to ditch half. <clears throat> That's what we're hoping for. Night, I drop by gray. Dang. Yeah, a five. Okay, at least we get some more for five. 
Oh, so does Gray. Oh my goodness. They could easily have a city here. <clears throat> so you bring them up to eight. And yeah, that we ha why is no one else just targeting this eight? That has to be the primary target moving forward. For everyone, not just me. Hmm. I guess we could also get in our city here, but it's not going to be super helpful to us. Dev cards over cities at this point. <clears throat> See if we can try beating Ray. Are you doing math or what's what's the hold up here? Okay, I just bought a dev card. Oh, another dev card. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't see us taking army away from them at the rate that they're able to buy devs with five, eight, six, or wheat sheep combo. He's still hitting this five. Do you not see a f <sighs> Okay, alright. Yeah, that's uh that's alright. Hmm. Okay. So you're building out there. Why aren't you trying to connect to yourself? You're just trying to go for a three for one, I suppose. Okay, as soon as our turn is or so, as soon as it is our turn. Wow. That sentence. Um night to eight. Nope, don't have anything for it. At this stage of the game, I doubt anyone's actually just doing one for one trades. I mean I could be wrong, but Everyone's self-sufficient enough that they're like, oh, we're not going to help you. Okay, it's Red's turn. They don't have any devs to move the knight off of all of us. And Red's next goal still is that settlement down there. Four. Okay, we get some sheep for four. Okay, we need a 11 or a 9 moving forward. Okay, so let's drop this. Hit gray. Oh, we steal a brick. I was hoping for a wheat three. Oh, we get nothing for three here. Wow. Yeah, we can't can't do anything there. All right. So, dang. Hoping for a lot of fours and sixes. So we do three for one trades for the settlement, I guess. Okay. Gray is going. They're dropping another knight. They're gonna have to target us since we we hit them. Stealing our ore. Dang. Okay, 11. There we go. We finally get some wheat for 11 there. Hmm. All we need is wood. Let me figure out a way to get wood. And we know Gray has wood. A 3 was rolled. They at least have 3 in there. Unless they ditch some. 3, yep. 3 lumber for a green. Buying a dev card. Oh my goodness. Just going to get wins from that. And we might get 3rd here. A 10. Okay, we get nothing for 10. Yikes. Okay, how can we do this? How can we do this? If a six is rolled, six or four, then we do a three for one trade, get that settlement. Four brick for green by purple. Purple, I need you to really start building roads here and take road away from red. Not sure what, what your holdup is. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go for the three for one first and maybe that'll be your next objective. Ten. Nothing for 10. Okay. This is this is not good. Uh, and you're building one out there to get in our summit, printing up at 8. And you victory points 5. Okay. So, that was an interesting choice. Do we do... Settlement or buy two devs? That is the question. I do. I could do a settlement and then. All right. Yeah. Then I can't buy a dev. Hmm. They stuffed. They stuffed three dev cards, and we had to. I would say at this point, I guess a smarter move would be to get the settlement to stack up for guaranteed points. Let's do that. Okay. Because we're we're not going to beat them to army. They have two, they have three victory or three dev cards. They're guaranteed at least one knight in there. So we're just wasting resources to do that. Where at this point we should be trying to score as many points as we can, in hopes that purple might take road away from red, maybe, or um, 
At this point, we could city these two spots up. Ooh, mono for lumber. What do you need lumber for? Hmm. What do you need lumber for? I'm a little confused. You can't build... Oh, are they going to take... You... Oh, you have to build one road here. And they have a victory point. Oh, <laughs> wait. That doesn't make sense. I thought they were going to take road and then they had secret victory point. But the way they did that, they're probably just wasting resources and dev cards. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we went down 60 low points. So 1064. Dang. All right. So, yeah, not, not great. I mean... <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't just focus up on or we sheep that match with that setup. Uh, we were playing against uh, diamond, platinum, gold. So we're at least playing players of that skill level. So, uh, yeah. So what did they do? They built road, road, road. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to get 11 victory points or yeah. Interesting. I, I feel like still they were just burning cards, but I feel like placements for five, four, 11 wasn't, Terrible. Maybe I should have tried taking. Well, this was already taken. Can't remember if three eight four was taken or not in the beginning. But maybe I should have did better. Try getting some wood and brick. But at the same time, let's see. Let's see the dice statistics here. Four was rolled a decent amount of times. Five being rolled the most with ten. Wow. Matching up with the seven and the eight. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And a quick shout out to the channel members, uh, Marcus McCusker. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys later.